13 U.S. federal judges are taking a stance against Columbia University for its handling of campus protests, vowing not to hire any future students of Columbia University, beginning with the 2024 freshman class. In a letter to school leaders, the judges expressed their loss of confidence in the institution, labeling the school an incubator of bigotry, citing what they see as a surge in disruptions, anti-Semitism, and hatred for diversity viewpoints on campuses nationwide since October. The judges laid out three demands for the university to reclaim its reputation. They insisted there be serious consequences for people involved in campus disruptions, neutrality when protecting free speech, and diversifying viewpoints among faculty and staff. The letter concluded by saying the objective of the boycott is not to hamper academic freedom, but to restore it at Columbia University. Demonstrations against Israel and the ongoing war in Gaza spread to dozens of universities across the country, leading to clashes between pro-Palestinian and pro-Israeli protesters. At Columbia, an encampment formed on the main campus, followed by the temporary occupation of a campus building last week, leading to more than 100 arrests. The 13 judges, all of whom were appointed by former President Trump, are part of a larger body of nearly 900 federal judges. Their annual hiring for prestigious clerkships adds weight to their boycott. The judges' boycott drew mixed reactions. The president of the Legal Insurrection Foundation and founder of EqualProtect.org told Fox News he questioned judicial involvement in such matters outside the courtroom, but agreed with them on substance. A UCLA law professor wrote an opinion piece on reason. My view is that we shouldn't threaten innocent neutral as a means of influencing the culpable. Columbia University has yet to respond to the letter. For more up-to-the-minute coverage of these campus protests, as well as the Israel-Hamas war, download the Straight Arrow News app.